So I picked up this uh, $30 headlight harness for a, a well, late model Silverado. Uh, comes with two dual filament 3157 bulb sockets and a uh, high and a low beam headlight and these banana uh, stackable banana adapters uh, solderless on Amazon for about 10 bucks. Pretty easy to put together. Um, make sure you get this on the wire first and then take your banana and you want the solderless ones because those are the ones with the little set screw. The little set screw goes in the end here and I just get it started first. It makes it a little bit easier uh, so it doesn't fall out on you. And then strip the end of your wire, put it through the hole and snug her down. If you can get on the screw that is. All right, and then to get a little extra security, you get a little pinch on it, just grab that. Snug it down. And then, that slips up into there. The dog rings the bells. You pick your color of choice for your banana connector. And then eventually it will go into place and that just snaps together and you're done. Cool. So I have my banana jacks all attached to my sockets and I'm going to go ahead and confirm function on all of them as well as uh, I'm going to measure and record the current draw of each one so I can mark all of them. Um, and then just to demonstrate, uh, I can go ahead and stack these in any combination I want since these are double-ended banana jacks. So I just got these all labeled out um, for the 3157s. Uh, since there's dual filaments, I have the total for both, uh, kind of between regular battery resting voltage and charging system voltage at two and a quarter, two and a half amps. Um, if we do each of an individual leg, it's 450 to 500 millivolts or 1.8 to two amps. And then the, uh, let's see, 9005-65 watt, uh, or so they say, uh, is four and a quarter to 4.75 amps. And the low beam, uh, H11, is 2.75 to 3. So I've got these all labeled so I know what they are. I can connect them together and make various loads. In addition to my standard test lights, here's the Harbor Freight. Uh, that one is 220 milliamp. And there's the Scanner Danner OTC. That one's about 130 milliamp. And then just to show that you can plug these into everything, I've got... Uh, some different clips here. I've got my Pomona piercing clip. We've got uh, Phil's probe, which these things have the nice uh, little bed of nails on the end, if that'll focus. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, there we go. And kind of like the Fluke network leads, which are great. Uh, probably my most used set of leads. Uh, here's the AES Wave uh, fuse loop um, with the voltage tap and plug into that. And we've got uh, a power probe piercing lead. And what else? Um, just a standard meter lead can plug into the back of that. And uh, yeah, really anything you want. Uh, back probes. So you can hook these to everything. I'm actually considering. Uh, putting uh, banana jacks on my regular test lights too, so I can just clip whatever I want onto them um, But yeah, there you have it um, Now I have any uh, Amper's draw test light that I want Oh, by the way, this uh, fuse loop uh, Is the new style three-legged fuse uh, so if one side of it blows you got to replace the whole thing and I uh, also wanted to mention this style of piercing probe I really like because the when you once you pierce a wire with the, the bed of nails there once you disconnect it it pretty much self heals versus a single piercer like this 
or the Pomona, uh, where you have to put some liquid electrical tape on it when you're done. Uh, but I think that about covers it.